Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and we're back once again in Train World. Very quickly following up our first look video of uh, at this game as our train I think it's about to deliver its very first load of cattle into the meat market here in um, whatever town this is. If I turn the follow mode off I can move them out. Indianapolis, that's it. Yes, that's a, it's, to be honest, that affects several games, doesn't it? If you've got the sort of follow camera on, or if you're in the first-person view, then you can't actually career around the map or the world. It makes sense, but I often forget it. Anyway, our train should start making money now. The cattle are taken out uh, by wagon load, and you should see our income up here start bumping up. Of course, it goes through this very quickly, very, very quickly, very slowly, <laughs> slowly, quickly. Who can tell the difference? Yeah, this train driver, apparently not. So, are we going to... Oh, there it goes. Yeah, got 16 left. Yep, yep, yep. So, that little train is going to be heading back to uh, San Francisco. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at a couple of other features that I didn't include in that first look because we were just getting to know the game and getting to build stations and tracks. So I want to have a look uh, behind the covers of a couple more features, one of which is the economy. We've had a quick poke at this uh, tab here, our bank account. Now, when I was looking at this before starting this recording, uh, I was looking around and I thought, um, okay, so I've dumped, sorry, I've delivered all those cattle, I've made money, I can see that at the top there, but it's not showing here on any of my, um, my finance charts. And then I notice there's no time in the game. You can speed it up and slow it down all you like, as we've been doing, but there's no indication of the passage of actual time despite the fact that it says here previous quarter. So I'm, I'm at a loss as to know quite what's going on. Now, that money should appear soon in this chart, but I don't quite know when. We've apparently already made some income, but not, not a lot. It's so small. <laughs> yes, compared to the income we made from creating this line to start with, everything else is... Um, yeah, it's small beer. Oh, does that mean it's made money? Uh, no, not yet. We should see the income turn up soon, but I'm not quite sure when. We'll look at that. However, before that... Actually, shall I keep that train in view? The cattle herder. I, I love the... F oh, no. I, I've got to have both windows open, have I? Uh, can I just go there to the train? That's it. And just keep you over there somewhere? I don't necessarily want to follow you as such, but I just want you... Now, I can't move you, can I? Oh, I can. Lovely. Uh, what's all, Oh, the economy of the game. If we go to the world map, we've got our region and our produce uh, icons here. These overlays to tell us more about the world we're working in. So, I'll look at the region one to start with. So, this is the region we're in, the Jacksonville region, because Jacksonville is our capital. That's here. And these are all the towns that we know of. Apparently we don't... You know, we, I know these are all the towns. Yeah. And we don't know what cargo Columbus delivers or requires. Or indeed Charlotte for that matter. Yeah, I'm not sure how accurate this is to a representation of the USA. <laughs> where all these names appear to be taken from. And I'm not entirely sure what all these numbers mean. But what I can say is that Indianapolis is getting meat and San Francisco is shipping meat. Yeah. Um, yeah, again, I'm not quite sure what all those numbers mean. Uh, what else does this tell us? This tells us what this region produces and consumes. Now, one interesting thing here is if we go to the produce uh, overlay here, and we look at cows, we can see that cows, cattle, there is a route for them already, and the fact that it's green here shows that I have a line delivering cattle to a meat processing factory, as opposed to coal down here, which is in blue, and we can see that coal is required to make steel here in Fort Worth, and the same for iron ore, 
and lime, which is over there, which is fine. If I create lines to deliver this uh, raw material into the city, then that will go green and I will make money from it. Now, the help pages, if we have a quick poke at that, uh, and talk about produce here. Just, uh, I'll, oh, okay, only unlocked cargo types are displayed. We, yep, we've seen that. The region map did show a number of locked uh, towns and cat categories of freight and cargo. That's fine. And show a cargo type on the list to show available transport routes. Yeah, we've got that. Select a cargo type. To, yeah, now cargo route for the region consumption will always lead to the capital even though the cargo can be delivered to the closest city in the region. The region's help also says something along the same lines about freight being delivered to the cities that demand it and clicking to see these arrows. And I then looked at this map and I said, okay, we're producing steel here in uh, Indianapolis, but there's no arrows. Uh, but the help page did say that if you ship it to a city, it will consume it and presumably help it grow. If you look further into the Steam forums, actually it might have been on the Discord server, the, this, the help text here isn't entirely clear about what happens with the game economics in terms of freight and cargo consumption. Things like steel, sorry, things like uh, meat coming from Indianapolis here, and the steel coming from Fort Worth down there, they are consumed automatically within the region. You do not need to provide cargo routes to ship that sort of end product to somewhere else. Now, if there is a factory which makes cars out of steel, then there will be routes for that. So if steel becomes a raw material, possibly. I'm making this up, this bit actually. <laughs> so what you'll see here is these sort of, these transport routes which you can use, they don't appear for these final material products unless you're going into another region. So when we unlock another region, then we should start seeing, as that help page sort of indicated, if you could see it, it was quite small and busy. What the help page does show is lots and lots of routes available to you. You just need to provide the train routes to carry the produce. But that offer for these sort of final products is only relevant inter-region. If you're talking intra-region, within the same region, then you don't need to ship it anywhere. It does it automatically. I'm not quite sure what that means for the economy of this region, of the cities, but I'm sure it's built in there somewhere. Anyway, that's that. So we're going to look at that a bit more as we go through. Uh, I want to check my balance here. Oh, we have made... Yes, right. Cattle bulk. Did make money. Uh, I press the space bar. Don't press the space bar because it doesn't pause anything. Am I complaining again? Yes, I am. The space bar should be the pause key, not this silly back quote key. It's just one of my pet peeves. I just can't get past it. Uh, yeah, so here we see in the previous quarter, but I've no idea when the quarter started or ended or where we are. It would be nice to have some indication of uh, time. That says quarter. What? Do, oh, hang on. Uh, okay, we'll, pre we'll press that again in a second. So we can see here anyway. So I'm getting distracted. I do that a lot if you see my other videos. Like I, yeah, Oh, unicorn. Sorry, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the expense, the maintenance of that train because uh, I've highlighted cattle bulk here, the train, uh, sorry, that's the line rather. If I go to the train, which was the cattle herder, it's the same thing, because I've only got one line and one train. Ooh, look, nice green bar. Uh, yeah, so the expenses, the maintenance is 57,500. The freight income was 81,000. Profit! Though we haven't quite recouped the amount of money we spent on building the thing. If we come off of that, uh, go back there. Uh, I think this is for our entire network, unless you select an individual line or some such. And we can see that as money. We can see company value. And this is transport. Whoa, 84,000 worth as we saw. Okay, not quite 84,000 worth of freight has been delivered. 
That's quite a good start, I think. We will obviously come back to the economy tabs and look at this in more detail as uh, our network grows. Now, the other thing I wanted to have a quick look at here, should we go back to the main map? Where's our train? Oh, he's fully loaded. And how fast are you going now? 10 miles an hour. Oh, you've just come out of the station. We've still got six waiting there. I could do with more wagons on that or another train. We'll worry about that in a minute. We'll put you back there. Uh, the other thing I wanted to look at was research. Now, research, as I mentioned in the last episode, is sort of accrued through the normal operation of the business. You don't have to set up a laboratory or research lab or uh, admin office or anything like that that you often do in other games which have research uh, processes. Uh, so we have... Uh, 220 points to spend on research and we can spend 100 immediately on either getting a nice big fast train the 442 Atlantic which can go 84 our current loco goes up 50 I think or we could spend it on earning 10% more for our freight to get to this one I don't think we can't unlock that yet because we need to unlock I think this one here oh in fact we can't unlock that either until we unlock the Atlantic so we're gonna have to unlock that aren't we basically so we're gonna have the Atlantic we're gonna be able to add that to our fleet yes we want to take that so we've got 131 points left do I want freight income or cheaper tracks I'm gonna be building another train route in a minute so I think I'm going to go tracks because that will then let me open up another region and then we can properly explore more of this freight and cargo and produce and transfer of of goods between the regions. Uh, so we could or, or a passenger wagon. I'm going to leave passengers for the moment. I think freight is the simplest way. It's so far the most understandable way of making money. So we're going to stay with freight for a second. For at least this video anyway. Uh, yeah, we're going to take that. We're going to se select that. We're going to buy that. We've got 31 points left, so we can't afford the region unlocking. Right, uh, where's my train? Oh, you're going at 49 now. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Can I edit this train? Uh, construction. What does, ooh, no, that's... No. No, the construction icon is on the map. I wonder what that means. Ooh. Okay, shows you that. That's the follow. That's the hide. Oh, that's hi oh, that hides the interface. That's the K hotkey. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. The tutorial might have said something about highlight about hiding the mini map. I can't remember, and I can't see an obvious key to do it. Anyway, where's our train? That follow. There you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm at speed one, so everything is very, very slow. Oh, you're quite close to delivering again. Okay, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go to our task lists. What do we want to do? Which of these are the quickest and easiest? I think Nashville to Fort Worth will give us two and a half million, and that will allow us to produce, we'll start producing steel. I think we should do that. That's two, well, three cities who are quite close to each other as we saw if we come back to the main map so we're going to be taking um, the iron ore is that yeah from Nashville into Fort Worth and also from Seattle the coal now interesting Seattle has coal already under production but the iron ore isn't I'm not quite sure why it says it's, in, it says it's inactive what was my task was Nashville Okay, maybe it will become active when I start that train line. So what have we got? Oh, again, we've got contours. So let's see. Uh, it's it's going to have to be, actually, I think, because we're going to be getting uh, coal down from Seattle. I think if we go around this way, yeah, I think that makes sense. So, whoops. Uh, this this the edge scrolling is too fast. I, I should have slowed it down. Uh, so we're going to go from somewhere like there in Nashville. We're going to come out to here. To here. This looks like just traversing slope all the way through, doesn't it? And then come down there through there. 
if we go to the other color and go from there to there, uh, no, I want the other color. If I right click, right click that one, that's it. Select the other color. Oh, I need to edit it, that's right. From there to there to there and up to Seattle, like that. So let's go back to our main map. Uh, where's our train? Just want to keep an eye on it for a second. It should be... Oh, it's delivered already. Oh, it didn't earn a vast amount of money. It's, only, it's not even four million yet. Okay, right, we're going to pause that. And we're going to start going to our mini-map here. We're going to be... Do we want to... Yeah, let's start with our station down here in Fort Worth. This is going to be a multi-platform freight station. And it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be... It's going to have to be that one, I suppose. Because if we put... Uh, this station down. We can only put one platform on. Oh, that's something else I learned from the forums, is that on these specific freight stations, that where you don't have a multi-platform station, you have two stations in instead, then any produce that needs to go between stations will be done by magic. So anything within the city boundaries will be transferred by a sort of implicit road network that you can't see, which transfers the goods from one station to the other station. So if you want onward delivery, say, of the steel uh, to some other place in the, in the world, then you can have a separate station for that, and the coal and the iron ore would be automatically transferred into the steel factory somewhere, and the steel will be shipped out to this other station. Uh, it'll make sense, hopefully, when we get around to doing that. <laughs> Uh, but I do I want oh let's spend it on a bigger station with multi platforms because I want to I want to do one of those. So we hold control key down and scroll mouse to spin this round, spin it right round, and you go there. And uh, we want two terminals, two terminals. Uh, uh, oh, I need to move it. So grab hold of that. And I I think we're going to have. We're going to have it looping round, aren't we? To come in, or do we want it to loop around going out? Or like that, perhaps. This is the thing, we're coming from Transport Fever 2, where you don't need to worry about that. If, if you're a lazy designer like I am, where trains magically turn around in the station, you don't have to worry about the in and out loops. Okay, we'll put you there. And then I will discover that that's the worst thing I could have decided to do. Okay. Yeah. But it should allow me to actually create a quite funky uh, system of rails around the station to spin the trains round. Okay. And uh, we're going to go. Uh, this is going to be the iron, the coal, iron ore. <laughs> okay, let's click on that. That's it. We've got no. Why, why are you not? I, uh, okay. You're doing it from there. I want to do it from. Oh, there you are. Okay. Not quite sure why it didn't pick the spot. Uh, so if we take you right round, like so. Okay. Spacebar carry on and then we can move this all the way up there keeping an eye on the costs that looks reasonably inexpensive spacebar that's it and keep moving up here right I will continue dragging this track through the hinterland of wherever we are and I'll join you once we get to Nashville, was it? <laughs> I cannot remember the names of these towns. Uh, when we've completed this, and I'll be back with you then. Okay, so we are approaching Nashville now, so we're gonna place our station here. Uh, one of the things that I didn't mention when we, when we were looking at the map and the economics of, of stuff, 
we go back to our main map here and our regions. Uh, actually, no, we can stay here. We can look at this. Uh, so what we've got here in this region is Jacksonville, the capital. We have these other cities of Charlotte, Columbus, Indianapolis, and Fort Worth. These other spaces are referred to as villages, if I remember the terminology right. Uh, these don't get stuff delivered to them. They are just uh, sort of local places which are focused centrally, cent so exclusively, <laughs> get me words out, they're focused exclusively on the extraction of raw material or the supply of a raw material. So you don't send stuff to these villages. They don't get stuff either, as far as I can make out. Th that's how I understood the discussion on the forum anyway. Uh, so let's back. We're back here in this village of Nashville. So we want to put in a station here. Actually, what I'll do is I can get rid of that guideline because it just gets in the way. It confuses too much the information on the map confuses me. We're still on there. Interesting. Uh, so we're going to come here. We want a freight station. It's going to be a very simple one to ship. Uh, that's it. Iron ore. And you need to be in here. Uh, could I? I could position you like that so you turn around like so yeah let's 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 do you like that I think so we'll confirm you which means this bit of track here I think I will actually demolish that bit put some track back where's it come from there you are overlap it no because I, there you are. I need to make sure I've got the that's it the snap point you can come out of there. It's you, you. I have a feeling you can't zoom out as much when you're building track, which is probably a deliberate decision so that you don't lose sight of your snapping points and stuff. So if we come, we get expensive going up that slope. So we will send you to there, and then we want to send you. Okay, because you're going to have to curve in around there. So can I? Ooh, I can. Slows down quite dramatically, but that's okay. So we will spacebar that, and then we can come, ooh, come out of here. Where's our snap point? There you go. Yes, I know it's the wrong shape. I'm getting there. Give me a moment. There you go. It is quite a tight slow turn but I suppose it has to be okay we'll take you from there and we'll follow you all the way down here can I drag you to join up there to, to, yeah that looks like it should be okay that's the job done okay so we should now be able to ship uh, or come out of rail mode there you are you see, you can, I think you can zoom out a bit more when you're not actually in track drawing mode. So this is Nashville 1, and the station will handle those produces. But I want to call you uh, Nashville 9. There you go. And the other station down to the end is going to be... You can be Fort Worth. Um, what do they call a steel foundry? Fort Worth foundry. There you go. That is you. Uh, oh, we need to loop back now, don't we? Uh, so, right, that's the loop in. So we want to loop out here. That's, ooh, I'm seeing con. Are you seeing contours? I'm seeing contours. So we'll send you out that way. And then, yikes, that, that is slow. And that is one heck of, oh, it says incline is too steep. Send you out there. Well, actually, no, that works. That's not too slow at all, actually. That, I'm, I'm good with that. It's quite a long route, but I'm good with that. Okay, so I think we have got a workable route. Excellent. So let's create ourselves a new line. 
I could click on the map here to go there, of course. There you are. Uh, so we're going to add a new line. It's going to be going from there, Nashville Mine. This one's going to be colored green, apparently. I wonder if you can change the color of them. That's going to the foundry. And it's happy. I've got a properly contiguous green line. We have a route. And this is going to be called Nashville or Bulk. That makes sense to me. There are no trains on it. I haven't got my reward yet for, for uh, making this route up. Uh, so let's have a look at some trains. We're going to add. Uh, do we want to use the American? Or do I want to use the Atlantic? I think 80... Oh, okay, remember actually, our wagons do go at 79. Oh, should we do that? Again, I don't know if you get rewarded for delivering things faster than slower. I don't know. In Transport Fever, for example, that is a thing. If you can get it there quickly, you get more money. But then again, 84 or 79 sounds like a passenger speed. Does it sound? Actually, no. That's interesting. The passenger, passenger wagons go slower. How curious. The maintenance on the locomotive, the American, is 3,000. That's quite a lot more, isn't it? We'll go... I'm, I want to see if I can edit the train, actually, because I want to add another wagon, at least, to the cattle herder. We'll take you. Okay, we're going to add these gondolas. And we're going to add, again, four, five. Okay, and the performance is still says excellent. I'm quite impressed by the power of these locomotives. I really am. Yeah, uh, we'll do that. And uh, you are going to go on. Um, uh, okay. No, you're not going on that. You're going on the other line. Did, did I? Where, where's my lines? There you are. Okay. Nashville. Why, why is... Stations are not assigned... What? Stations are not assigned to the... Oh, did I... Did I oh, did I not click to add stations? <sighs> to confirm the selection. Thinking... Well, yes, I, I probably didn't click the confirm bot button there, did I? You should have told me off. This is, this is why I don't do live streaming. <laughs> Be a constant, uh, a constant flow of uh, comments from any any viewers saying, "You forgot to do that. You didn't do that properly. Why, why did you not finish the job you were starting? Why did you get distracted by those flying unicorns?" Yeah. Right now we have a line. I have created it. I'm sure. Uh, my train too. It can now go on like yay! The Nashville or bulk, and this train. Uh, I'm not going to give it a name. Do you want to give it a name? Yeah, if you feel like naming this train, then just please just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be lovely. Uh, so there you go. Let's get it running. Uh, two industries connected. I've got a steam achievement, and I've got two and a half million extra in the bank balance. Lovely. So where's this train? And Nashville Station has nothing waiting. Okay, that's not a good sign. Uh, I don't want to follow the train anymore. So if I go here... Ah, production is now active. So it's going to have to make that entire journey and come back before it has anything to deliver. Right, let's have a look at our cattle herder train. Oh, you're empty. You've delivered more money. Uh, does this give me sale price it doesn't give me the profit on the train does it by the look of it no it's a freight train I know that and, the, and it's steam because it's got a steam icon okay so have you earned me any money not in the previous quarter Oh, maybe it's only just delivered it. But I, yeah, again, it'd be nice to have a more immediate report, I think, from from the accountant of what was delivered when and where. 
So that's going to do that job. Anyway, I wanted to come here. I wanted to edit this train. Can I edit? Should we follow it? There you are. Yeah, you have only just exited the station, so that's that's okay. Uh, I wanted to edit you. Can I edit you? Do I want to change the name? I want to edit the train. Edit. Aha! I can, by the look of it. So if I add another boxcar to it. There you go. Done. Can now take 75 cattle. I'm also betting there's only three waiting <laughs> at the station. 50. Okay, more might come in. Have we earned more research points? 108. Ooh, I can unlock a new region. Or I can get a passenger wagon. A fa Ooh, the faster passenger wagon. Now, let's open up a new region. There you go. So what does that mean? If I go to the world map, how do you unlock a region? Very good question. Produce, regions, Memphis. Unlock region. Now if I unlock this, which is one of my tasks, yeah, I'll get another two and a half million. So I can really spend money and get reckless. I think we like the sound of that, don't we? Regions. It's odd I get these buttons mixed up. Mm. Unlock region. Yay! 7.7 .7 million in the bank balance. So that's it. I think we're going to end the episode there. It's going to be a relatively short one, this, which is unusual for me, as as if you're a regular viewer, you, you may recognise. <laughs> I do sometimes try to keep to create shorter, more reasonable length episodes, but it doesn't often happen. A new task has been added. Deliver 5,000 to Milwaukee. I imagine Milwaukee... Yeah, is somewhere in our new region. Okay, well, we'll look at doing some of those other tasks in the next episode of Train World. Uh, I want to go. I want to go back to, to my home. I'm I'm lost. I want to go back here. No, don't. I clicked on it. Don't click on the train. There you go. Where's my train? There's my train. Actually, no. Let's follow our other train. Oh, you're there. Are you? Where's that? Tr where's the train? Where is the train? I don't know. If I click here, I can find it. Train two, follow. Where are you going? Where is? Where's that? I'm not sure where it's going to. Is it going to Nashville? Oh, no, it's going back to the mine. Right, so it should. There should be something here for it to pick up. 70, 72! Yikes, I think we're going to need another train on here. I thought this map should show me the train icon. But it's not doing that. There's the train now. Click into it. There you go. Click, and then right click. There you go, and we can follow you. There you go. So that's it. I think all oh, 75, it should fill up. I could add another gondola to it, couldn't I? I'm not going to do that. Not this episode anyway. So I'm going to say thank you so much for joining me today for... Oops, too close, too noisy. For this episode of Train World. If you've enjoyed this, it'll be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbsy uppy button. Even better if you've got anything to say about what I'm doing with the game or your thoughts about the game generally. Do you have it yet? Are you looking forward to purchasing it at some point? Then please do just drop a note into the comments box below. Also, if you feel like naming something, a train, a line, a station, then yeah, just drop that into the little box below as well. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. In the meantime, as our latest train... No, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I, I am going to have to add another gondola to that. Yeah, definitely. Train 2. Uh, no, I'm not going to rename it. I'm going to leave that for you. Details. Edit. I want another gondola on there. Add. Ooh! Performance has dropped down to good. Oh, okay. We shall see. If we carry 90 now... And how many is waiting there? Night. Wow. I'm probably going to need two trains. We're going to have to do double track. Proper double tracking. 
for the next episode of Train World. Uh, where's my train gone? Uh, where is the train gone? Where is it? Uh, that was unexpected. Oh no, there it is. Th there are some oddities I've already seen with the way the game handles uh, pausing and changing things in the game. Um, particularly when you're adding signals and stuff, it seems to do some odd things like repositioning the train, which is particularly odd. That might be to do with the way it has to calculate new blocks on the track and so on. Uh, so the train doesn't get stuck or confused. But anyway, yes, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next video, hopefully. So, yeah, from me, Ajax Post, here in Train World. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.